Did you know that OpenAI's Llama 3.1, boasting a whopping 405 billion parameters, has just set a new record as the world's largest open source AI model? The potential of this model is so vast and sophisticated that it can process and generate text with unprecedented accuracy and depth. But what does this mean for us? With Llama 3.1 hitting the scene, we're getting into an era where AI can understand and interact in ways we've only dreamed of. Let's get right into bringing you up to speed on everything we know. Now, in their latest announcement, Meta introduced the Llama 3.1 405B, boasting a staggering 405 billion parameters. To put that into perspective, that's roughly 405 billion bits of information this model can process. It's the biggest open source model released to date, making waves with its improved reasoning, tool use, multilingual abilities, and a larger context window. But wait, there's more. Meta isn't stopping there. They're also updating their 8B and 70B models, making them more capable and user-friendly. So whether you're a hobbyist or running a massive enterprise, there's something in this release for you. Let's break down what makes Llama 3.1 so extraordinary. When Meta talks about the 405B, they're referring to the sheer size and complexity of the model. It is basically like a supercharged brain with 405 billion connections, each helping it understand and generate human-like text. This model doesn't just write well. It's designed to understand context deeply, use tools efficiently, and handle a broader range of languages. This model is incredibly smart. It can pick up on subtle hints in a conversation, understand jokes, and even translate between different languages without losing the meaning. It's like having a super intelligent friend who knows a little bit about everything and can help you with anything you need. The 405B is a big leap forward in making AI more helpful and versatile in our everyday lives. That's not all. Llama 3.1 405B's reasoning abilities are off the charts. It's equipped to handle more complex queries and provide better answers. The tool usage has also been optimized, meaning it can interact with tools like search engines, code execution environments, and mathematical calculators more effectively. It also has a larger context window. The context window has been expanded to 1208 tokens. In simpler terms, it can remember and work with larger chunks of text or data at once. This is important for handling long documents or extensive pieces of code. Llama 3.1 also excels in multiple languages, making it a versatile tool for global applications. It's not just a jack of all trades, but a master in several languages, which is a huge leap forward for open source models. Let's get into the benchmarks of Llama 3.1 405B. Now benchmarks might sound a bit technical, but think of them as the report cards for AI models. And let me tell you, Llama 3.1 has some pretty stellar grades. It's not just keeping up with the competition, in some cases, it's even pulling ahead. We're talking about standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with big names like GPT-4 and Clay 3.5 Sonic. And that's no small feat. For example, in categories like tool use and multilingual abilities, Llama 3.1 is right up there with the best. You know how important it is for an AI to be good with tools, right? Whether it's summarizing text, answering questions, or even translating languages, Llama 3.1 is showing it can do all that just as well as, if not better than, its rivals. But here's where things get really interesting. Llama 3.1 shines particularly bright when it comes to reasoning tasks. It scored a whopping 96.9% in this area. Imagine taking a really tough exam and scoring almost 97%. That's how good Llama 3.1 is at reasoning. This means that when it comes to understanding and making sense of complex information, Llama 3.1 is often better than Clay 3.5 Sonic. And Clay 3.5 Sonic is no slouch, so this is a big deal. Now let's talk a bit about size. When it comes to AI, bigger usually means better because more parameters often translate to better performance. GPT-4, for instance, reportedly has around 1.8 trillion parameters. That's like having a super brain. But here's the kicker. Llama 3.1 manages to achieve its impressive performance with a much smaller size. It's like having a compact, high-performance sports car that can outpace a big, bulky truck. This makes Llama 3.1 not only powerful, but also efficient. So what does all this mean in simple terms? Llama 3.1 is a powerhouse. It's smart, fast, and doesn't need to be enormous to get the job done. Whether it's understanding complex tasks, using various tools, or handling multiple languages, Llama 3.1 is proving itself to be a top contender. It's kind of like the underdog story we all love, smaller in size but punching well above its weight. Benchmarks are great, but how does Llama 3.1 fare in real-world scenarios? According to human evaluations, the model performs exceptionally well, 
often winning or tying with state-of-the-art models. This is a proof of its practical utility and effectiveness. Imagine having a model that's as capable as GPT-4, but is more cost-effective and efficient. One interesting aspect of Llama 3.1 is its architecture. Meta decided to stick with a standard decoder-only transformer model instead of using a more complex mixture of expert models. This choice was made to maintain training stability and simplicity. It's a design choice that emphasizes effectiveness and straightforwardness over flashy complexity. Now here's where things get even more exciting. Meta's research paper reveals that Llama 3.1 is not just about text. They're working on integrating image, video, and speech capabilities into the model. This multimodal approach means that Llama 3.1 could potentially handle various types of input and tasks, making it even more versatile. On image recognition, preliminary results show that Llama 3.1 performs exceptionally well in image recognition tasks. It even surpasses GPT-4 vision in certain categories, which is no small feat. The model's video understanding capabilities are also impressive. Llama 3.1 outperforms other models like Gemini 1.0 Ultra and GPT-4 Vision in video analysis, showcasing its ability to process and interpret video content effectively. One of the coolest things about this model is its incredible ability to recognize sound. Imagine talking to your device, and it not only hears you clearly, but also understands what you're saying. This sound recognition is amazing. It picks up on the slightest variations in your voice, which means it can understand you even if you speak softly or with a lot of background noise. But it doesn't stop there. The model is super skilled at handling natural speech. You know how sometimes when you talk to a computer or a virtual assistant, you have to speak slowly or use specific words? Not with this one. You can talk just like you would to a friend, and it gets you. Whether you're mumbling, speaking quickly, or even using slang, this model keeps up. It's like having a really smart friend who understands you perfectly. Another really cool thing is that this model is designed to understand many different languages and accents. This is a huge step forward for AI. Think about how many people around the world speak different languages or have unique accents. This model can handle all of that. You could be speaking Spanish, French, Chinese, or any other language, and it will understand you. And if you have an accent, no worries. Whether it's a thick accent or just a slight one, this model gets it. Meta's announcement hints at even more exciting developments on the horizon. They suggest that substantial improvements are coming, which means that Llama 3.1 is just the beginning. As AI technology continues to advance, we can expect even more powerful and capable models in the future. For anyone excited to give Llama 3.1 a spin, Meta is making sure you have plenty of ways to do it. If you're in the US, you can access it directly through Meta's services, which makes it super easy to get started. You just need to hop on their platform and you're good to go. No hassle, no extra steps. Now, if you're in the UK, things might be a bit different. You might need to use platforms like Grow, Grow is pretty cool because it offers fast inference capabilities. This means it can process information really quickly, so you get results faster. It's not as direct as in the US, but it's still a smooth way to try out Llama 3.1. Meta isn't stopping there. They're working on making Llama 3.1 available across various platforms. This means that over time, more and more people around the world will be able to use it. You might see it popping up in different apps or services you already use. So if it's not available in your area just yet, don't worry. Meta's rollout plan is in full swing, and the availability will keep expanding. The idea is to make Llama 3.1 as accessible as possible. Whether you're a developer looking to build something cool, or just a tech enthusiast wanting to play around with the latest AI, Meta wants to make sure you can get your hands on it. They're focusing on making the model easy to find and use, no matter where you are. The release of Llama 3.1405B is a significant milestone in the world of open source AI. With its impressive size, capabilities, and performance, it's set to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI technology. As Meta continues to develop and improve these models, we can look forward to even more advancements and innovations in the field. So whether you're a developer, researcher, or just an AI enthusiast, Llama 3.1 is a model worth keeping an eye on. It's not just about the size, but the potential it unlocks for future AI applications. The future of AI is here, and it's looking incredibly exciting. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video. And if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check other videos on our playlist. We've got some amazing contents for you. See you in our next video.